so hello everyone this is an exclusive interview series with successful business analysis practitioners i am rashmi from tech canvas your host for this session so the in the intention behind this interview series is to provide inputs to the aspiring candidates who are on their business analysis journey today we have invited shambhavi kartik welcome shambhavi thank you rashmi thank you so yeah let's start uh, with shambhavi's interview so can you tell us about uh, yourself shambhavi yeah uh, i'm basically from bangalore so uh, i have uh, completed my uh, electronics and uh, engineer uh, communication engineering basically i'm from enc background but i started my career into on healthcare industry uh, into business operations unfortunately and uh, that is when i decided i have to uh, stick on to the same industry and i should uh, make a you know switch to it industry so it's a uh, long uh, years of five years after five years i could make it up okay good to know so yeah this was from uh, moving from non it to it and uh, how did you how did you uh, uh, plan your uh, ba journey uh, how did you become journey. a bn analyst yeah yeah so after a uh, five years of journey into uh, healthcare operations so i was looking for a stable uh, industry uh, where i can use my uh, experience and um, and uh, yeah i had three points in my mind like um, package wise i was looking for a very good package so industry wise and again uh, position wise so i did a uh, research on this things and uh, finally i came up with a business analyst role so that is where i decided i will uh, move out from this business operations into it industry with the same uh, healthcare um, background so and uh, so i start up the course with um, tech canvas i did a complete uh, business analyst role because i was not aware of anything on this role it is a, a very new role for me uh, so yeah so i uh, took that course very seriously so i completed that course and uh, so fortunately uh, the thing which worked out for me is the constructive planning so uh, it is 3 months of notice so till the date i uh, drop my papers i had completed the course completely it was like i'm ba certified from tech canvas so that is when i decided to drop my papers and uh, take and the interviews hand in hand uh parallelly i was preparing for ecba certification wow so uh yeah the constructive planning had worked me out along with the you know good training from tech canvas awesome wonderful to hear that so uh, shambhavi can you tell us uh, how does your typical day look like in carrying out your uh, ba's responsibilities uh as a business analyst the day will be filled with multiple meetings business requirement meetings right. so uh, the it will be like 6 to 7 meetings in a day then uh, i have to give inputs to the development team testing team so it will be like a three week uh, discussion between the development team and the qa testing team and the business requirements so all the three things has to be uh, in line with the business so typically my day starts with uh, i start my day looking into my calendar then i plan my day according to the meeting schedules right so you are occupied throughout the day yes okay that's good to know <laughs> and uh, so my next question is on this only uh, what is the most enjoyable part uh, you like being a business analyst uh the most enjoying part is i can relate my experience to the requirements uh in a very good uh, sense i mean uh, see i'm from an healthcare industry i i was working in a operation uh, side of it so when it come to development I, i'm the i'm the one who can relate the life scenarios in a very better way when it comes to a development mm -hmm. so they speaks in terms of uh, development but uh, mm -hmm. i give them a very value added inputs in terms of scenarios so that is one thing i feel proud of 
Mm. And uh, yeah, that is a, that is that is the motivational thing for me to continue with this role because uh, basically I'm from non-IT and I'm not much exposed to uh, technical uh, terms of it. But I have my own way of explaining them in terms of business. Uh, yeah, that is a good thing in this role. Nice. So basically, you uh, you give your domain expertise in terms of value to the in in terms of the value in terms of your uh, uh, domain knowledge, domain expertise to the business. So there, you feel that you uh, you are enjoying that part most. Yes. yes exactly. Right, right. So now my next question to the contrary to the previous one, which one is not the most enjoyable part? Uh, the most uh, normal enjoyable part is uh, uh, yeah, technical exposure. So um, so when they give requirements in a most technical part of it is the one where i don't have a uh, expo where i don't have expertise in so i'm feeling mm -hmm. it little bit um, you know a learning curve it is kind of a learning curve so i'm mm -hmm. uh, trying constantly on that part so that is uh, it requires learning in that right right anywhere you go the learnings will be there <laughs> so yeah Shambhavi, any suggestions you want to give to the aspirants who are on their business analysis journey uh, yes, the, I have um, three suggestions on that part. The first thing is like uh, when you're choosing the business analyst role, um, choose the industry where you have your previous experience into. Because uh, business analyst itself is a new role. It uh, involves a lot of learning. So when the two things, the industry and the role, when both the things are new, it will be very difficult. So what worked out for me is uh, I had prior experience in the healthcare industry. So I opted the role in the same industry. So that really worked me out. And again, it helps uh, in the time of interview as well. Because uh, when it comes to business analytics, suppose we, if you don't do well in technical assessment, so if we do an outstanding performance in a domain industry, what we have, so that is where we can make out our interview and get uh, chances of shortlisted will be more in this way. Yeah. Right. So this is and uh, yeah, plan your work accordingly. Uh, the course go through all the videos and the materials what we get from um, Sir Abhishek Sir and the Tech Canvas. It really helped me out. So so I was taking it as a Bible <laughs> before interviews. I was going through all the materials and uh, that really worked me well. Wonderful. Yeah, worked well for me. Okay. Anything else, Shambhavi, you want to share with the audience here? Uh, yeah. And uh, interviews, so try to get uh, more number of uh, interviews. We have our own preference when it comes to package, location, and uh, companies. So respective of the location, like how I planned this, basically I was looking for Bangalore location itself, but I accepted the interviews for Hyderabad, or Kerala locations, just to get an idea of how a uh, business analyst interview looks like. So, and suppose if you clear that interview, even if it is for a lesser package than what we are getting and a different location and different industry sometimes. So it gives a confidence level. Our confidence level will be more. And uh, the most importantly, we'll get how an interview questions will come. And uh, when it comes to life scenarios, so they will give you a life scenarios and uh, ask us to act wisely on that, how we can pick up that life scenario in that existing process. So we can relate easily in that case. So that that worked out for me. So even though if it is not my preference, I uh, took up that interview. So after three to four interviews, I could get an exact match of what I was looking for. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, and uh, there is no, uh, uh, you know, there is no match for practice. There is no match for practice and uh, people can if they can get different ways how to practice on their interviews on their building their uh, confidence or increasing their knowledge uh, nothing is better than the practice <laughs> yes wonderful advice shambhavi giving a uh, lot of interviews uh, candidates can actually you know will uh, definitely uh, get through what they want yes 
so thanks shambhavi for being a sport to share your experience and wonderful advices um tech canvas team wishes you all the very best in your career ahead thank you so much thank you so much rashmi for this uh, thing and uh, yeah i really thank tech canvas because uh, abish uh, sir and the whole team is uh, main crucial role for my um, present role today because uh, without your help whoever the back end team so they really helped me out even today whenever i come up with some scenarios in my current role i approached tech canvas for assistance and uh, now i'm done with my course but still the assistance from your end it's still there that is the most appreciable part of it thank you so much glad glad that we are able to help you thank you so much for that thank you all Rishi. right then thank you. thank you thanks shambhavi yeah thank you